So ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls, I think Uber has a long, 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 long road ahead. And I tell you why. I have been noticing so many flaws. I think they're just growing too fast. And um, there's certain things where they are falling behind that really, really upset and irritate drivers. I get these emails every single day. And I hope that Uber is listening. Firstly, we are Uber. The drivers make the company. So hopefully uh, some CEO or some person in top management is listening to this video. And um, you know, they just sold the Uber section to China for 36 billion. They got an investment from Saudi Arabia for three and a half billion. So they can't complain about cash. We make the cash for them, agreed? I want to hear a loud yes from all the drivers out there. Yeah! So why not allocate us shares? Allocate us shares, keep us happy, keep us involved. And if you really want to keep us happy and keep us involved, spend money on technology. You need to have the most state-of-the-art servers like Google. There is no excuse, like yesterday and the day before, that servers are down for hours and hours and hours on end and your trips are not updating, your ratings are not updating, you don't know whether you got paid for that trip or not. Um, there is absolutely zero excuse that Uber should be failing in the technology service section. They have all the money in the world to pay for a state-of-the-art platform. Look at Amazon, look at Google, look at how they do it. Are they down? Do they suffer many technical problems? No. So Uber, I hope you're listening, but there is absolutely no excuse that servers or apps should have tons of technical glitches, should be down, data should be flowing at all times. Listen up, Uber, you can learn. Now, another thing I would highly, highly recommend that Uber does, and, um, I have a strong feeling and I just see that by the times, you know, when the customer service gets back to you or the help desk, I have a feeling that they made the same mistake as Dell and shipped out their help desk to India. I see that by um, the names in the emails, Pradeep, Prakesh. Now I have no problems with Indians. Uh, I think they're hardworking, some of the super smartest people, but there is a massive, massive language barrier and Uber really, really needs to learn from this. I strongly advise that they spend a little bit of extra money. They have it. They are not suffering on cash. We, the drivers, are making cash for them. They should have a big call center in the United States and they should keep the jobs in the USA, okay? And they should also have local offices in Europe um, and, you know, India, Asia that support those continents, countries, cities. Um, I, if I have a problem and I've had numerous problems recently and I'm just not getting the right answers, it's just that these people on the other side do not understand you know, it could be a language barrier, a cultural barrier, do not understand the complexity or the issue of the matter, matter at hand. And, you know, I'll go a long way to explain it in an email. But if you notice, they are not even answering that or coming back with something completely different. You know, there's a huge disconnect. And I'm sure you guys can relate to this and I'm sure you're frustrated. You write something and you get a completely different answer back, okay? Um, I had an issue with Uber Black. For some reason, it was down off the grid. Um, some people said, oh, you're still activated, should be there. Next guy addresses something completely different. Um, four or five replies later, the issue still wasn't solved, you know. So, there is no phone number. There is no real person you can speak to. It's all done electronically. And um, they need to improve big time. And I mean like big, big time. Their help desks should be locally in that country. They should be speaking the language. 
of those individuals. They should be understanding the complexity and the nature of the uh, questions and take the time. And I don't mean cut and paste. There's a lot of classic cut and paste going on, autoresponders, and they really need to keep the drivers happy. Because I know so many drivers that are frustrated and switch quickly, you know. If you're not getting what you want or what you expect, you switch, you go elsewhere, you look for a better fit. So listen up Uber, spend the money, improve on customer service, improve on help desk, keep it locally per country, spend the money on the technology, on the service, keep the drivers happy, issue them shares, and this company will go a long, long way. Now many people also po pose the question, will I be replaced by robots or will the cars be driverless? You know what? It's still far off. And even if it's five or seven years off and they, they started already, I mean, they're testing, um, they're conducting tests, a lot of partnerships going on between Uber and automakers and Lyft and automakers. But while the sun shines, you know, I say go out, make money. Um, don't live in fear, live for today, have fun, drive safe, and Uber, keep us happy and keep us safe. That's my message for the day on this long, long road. Enjoy.